Fortnite Star Wars update is finally here, including all of the brand new Star Wars cosmetics, brand new free rewards, brand new mythic items, and much, much more that we're going to be going over here in today's video, so trust me, you'll want to make sure you're staying tuned. We have everything you guys need to know about this year's May the 4th event, as it is looking to be one of the biggest May the 4th events we've ever gotten in Fortnite. But first, drop a like and subscribe right now if you want this to be your Fortnite account in exactly 6 days time. And well, if you don't, this will be your account, so the choice is all yours to do with that information as you will. And if any of you guys had to picking up anything inside of the Fortnite item shop for yourself, do consider using my support creator code YTORRAY as it greatly supports the channel that extra mile. Hashtag ad. And well, we've just gotten this year's May the 4th event, which is actually coming along with tons of brand new content then including some that we didn't expect including all of the brand new skins as it looks like we're obviously going to be getting lando calarissian as we obviously had him tease the other day on this actual image right here but we also will be getting an all new luke skywalker skin which i believe is actually called dagaba luke which is from one of the movies when luke actually travels to a planet to find yoda we'll actually be getting his very own cosmetic here inside of this brand new update as it actually has been leaked that we're going to be getting a brand new yoda gear pack which will cost 1000 v bucks is going to include Yoda's walking stick as a harvesting tool and also a brand new Yoda back blink. Very similar to the way in the movies, Luke obviously has Yoda sitting on his back. That's definitely pretty cool. Most likely will come in the form of an all new pet, considering we obviously had baby Yoda already in the past. Was locked to the chapter 2 season 5 battle pass. So this is definitely going to be a nice skin to obviously get on your account, obviously in the form of a back bling. We do know that the brand new Luke outfit is actually going to be a part of a brand new bundle, which will set you back 1,800 V-Bucks. We do actually have free rewards as well, which we're going to be getting into very shortly, so you want to be sure you're staying tuned for that. We do also have another bundle, which will be making its way into the game, being an AWR Trooper, which will cost you 1,500 V-Bucks. I personally think it's pretty cool, as it's obviously a Black Storm Trooper outfit, and personally, I think this one looks super sick. This skin will be sold on its own for 1,500 V-Bucks, and you actually will be able to get the back bling for absolutely free by completing some challenges as you can see here is that back bling itself it's called the awr pack back bling which i personally think looks pretty cool as obviously it will fit perfectly with that brand new skin well obviously chewbacca will be making his way into the game for this year's may the fourth event but it's actually going to be working a little bit differently as he will not be sold in the item shop we now have our very first look at what seems to be a brand new lego pass which actually will be exclusive to the lego game mode i personally haven't been playing a lot of so so I'm definitely going to try and see what I can do to get all of these different cosmetics. This is actually going to be a free tier track, obviously, the way we've seen before. You will be able to get some Star Wars themed decorations that you will be able to put in your Lego worlds, which is cool. But if you do actually buy this whole thing for 1,400 V-Bucks, you will get instant access to Chewbacca and also his Lego edit style. But it is safe to say we will be seeing a Lego pass, a Fortnite festival pass, and potentially in the future also a rocket pass. Each and every single one of the game modes, obviously in Fortnite, considering we live literally just had the avatar element pass i won't be too fussed with the lego version considering i'm not really into that lego mode and all of these decorations will be useless so i just want to get my hands on chewbacca but to say on this image it will be ending 80 days so it looks like we will have well over enough time to be able to get all of these different rewards especially if you're not really interested in them you can be sure to let me know down in the comments how you feel about all of the game modes getting brand new passes every single season you may notice that chewbacca doesn't actually have a back bling at all on this track but it looks like he will actually be getting one that will be available in the item shop on its own it should set you back 500 v bucks and it will be a disassembled c-3po which you can obviously see from this image right here is more or less what it should look like yeah this back bling definitely looks like it's going to be pretty big and it's pretty unfortunate it's not included with the rest of the bundle that is obviously in the lego pass this year's may the fourth event is looking to be very pricey especially if you play all of the different game modes considering the fact we also have brand new instruments coming to Fortnite festival which you can obviously see right here we also have our very first look at the brand new Mandalorian car, which you also will be able to get and use inside of Rocket Racing and also in Rocket League. Personally, I do think it looks pretty cool, but I don't think I've played the game mode enough to actually go out of my way and buy this. There will be all brand new quests inside of Rocket Racing where you can actually get some decals for your vehicles that are obviously themed around Star Wars. As obviously you can see one right here, which definitely looks like Darth Maul. If you're big into your Rocket Racing, be sure you're getting all of those quests done alongside with all of the brand new Lego quests, the Battle Royale quests, and also the Fortnite Festival quests. 
quest. Well, it looks like the jam stage will also be getting a makeover as well. As you can actually see, this is what the brand new jam stage will look like over the course of the May the 4th event. Personally, I do think it looks pretty cool. I definitely will be jumping into this just to see if it looks exactly like it does in the movies. Hopefully, the main stage does get some overall designs as well, considering I do think it would be pretty sick. You know, there's actually going to be brand new Star Wars music added to Fortnite Festival, being the Cantina Band and also some music from A New Hope. So yeah, this is quite possibly one of the biggest Star Wars events we're ever going to get in Fortnite. And not only that, when it does come to Battle Royale, we do also know that Darth Vader will be returning alongside with his stormtroopers to the Battle Royale island. So I'm honestly not looking forward to too much, considering obviously his mythic item was definitely pretty overpowered, especially with all of his force abilities. This lightsaber was definitely pretty cool, especially where you could actually throw this lightsaber, so that's definitely going to be pretty nice. And also expect all of the previous lightsabers to make a return as well. Along with the E11 blasters, which obviously we do see every single year, and also the Wookiee Bow caster which is going to be a completely brand new mythic item arriving on the fortnite island as we obviously had this leaked already a few weeks ago be sure to keep an eye out for that but we do also know that there's actually going to be some other skins as well that are not actually listed on any of the leaks we have so far we did have insider information about a brand new leia organa skin which is actually going to be her in a rebel outfit just like the image you can see up on screen right here seeing as how luke skywalker is obviously getting a reskin it obviously would make sense that also leia would could be coming at some point over the course of the event event as well potentially even later and seeing as how hey, we do have a brand new c3po backwing arriving in the game i wouldn't even be surprised if we had the ability to get c3po in the form of a brand new skin as well considering we already do have rtd2 in the form of a backwing that we were able to get a few years ago i do think it would be quite funny to see c3po make his way into the game personally as i do think it would be a pretty cool looking skin Obviously, this is one of the last updates we're going to be getting here inside of Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2 before the release of Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3. And well, inside of this brand new update, we also will be getting the addition of an all-new Billie Eilish outfit, as we do actually know that there's going to be a second skin, one of them being available inside of the Festival Pass, and one of them available inside of the item shop. All we know about this is the fact that it's actually going to be called Blue Roots, considering obviously the one in the Festival Pass is from her Green Roots era. I believe it's supposed to go for the release of her most recent albums, so obviously this would make sense considering all of the Fortnite Festival artists do get two skins, one of them in the Festival Pass and one of them inside of the item shop. But be sure to keep an eye out on that as it most likely will be releasing very, very soon. Not to forget the fact we should also be getting some brand new map changes that are going to obviously tease the ending of the season with the giant hourglass showing up on the Fortnite Island. It will lead to a brand new community event where we will actually have to destroy this hourglass. So be sure to keep an eye out on the Fortnite Island as this obviously could show up at any time very similarly to the Titan Hand from last season. This will obviously bring along the brand new season with the ending of the Fortnite Island with obviously us getting a brand new post-apocalyptic theme. So far, every single thing on this roadmap has been leaked and actually ended up being completely true. So this is definitely pretty interesting. I'm actually curious to see what else ends up arriving in the game. Especially with the fact that we do know that Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 4 is going to be an all-new Marvel season. Be sure to let me know down in the comments how you feel about the brand new Fortnite update including all of the brand new Star Wars content. And are you excited for Fortnite Chapter 5? of season three. Unfortunately, that is all we pretty much have time for here in today's video. And if you did watch all the way to the very end of it, be sure to drop this word down in the comments alongside with your Epic Games ID. And if you have been picking up any of the brand new Star Wars content arriving in the game, do consider using my support creator code YTORA inside of the Fortnite item shop as it greatly supports the channel. Hashtag ad. If you did enjoy the video, do drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and thanks for watching.